Hello friends, I'm Rob, this is Digital Waste Draw, and in this video I'm going to show you how I speed painted my Iron Golem. Iron Golem, Iron Golem, how I speed painted these guys. Here's what we'll be using. For the armour we need Lead Belcher, Abaddon Black, Retributor Armour, Rhinox Hide, Vallejo Model Colour Sky Grey, side note, I love Sky Grey, it covers really well for such a bright grey, and I highly recommend getting some. Uh, white scar, and also null oil. We'll also be using some weathering powder. Wait, wait, stop, come back. Powder is actually super simple to use, and will be a very useful tool to get your miniatures looking nice and battle-worn. So for this tutorial, we're going to be using Vallejo Pigments uh, Brown Iron Oxide, and of course, we're going to need some matte medium too. It's also useful to have a little container to mix the powder in. I use the top of bottled water. If you want to use soda tops, maybe give them a wash first. You don't want your figures ending up all sticky. Unless you play Nurgle or Slanesh, I guess. I don't judge. For the skin, we need Rhinox Hide, Druki Violet, and Gawthor Brown. To paint the bases, we'll use Zandri Dust, Karak Stone, Ushabti Bone, and everyone's favourite, Agrax Earthshade. To prepare the miniature, I applied Vallejo Coarse Pumice to the base, along with a little bit of Agrellan Earth for extra texture. You can use sand or whatever you feel like. Um, I then sprayed the entire thing lead belcher, and after that I put down the first coat of Zandri Dust on the base. I like to do the base first, as it's generally easier to fix mistakes on the base later than it is to fix mistakes on the feet. I then did something similar with the skin, as it'll be tough to do without getting paint on the armour, but should be easy to fix later. So give it a coat of Rhinox Hide now. On to the armour. Firstly, I painted the armour with a 50-50 mix of Abaddon Black and Lead Belcher. Next, I did the gold details, such as the disc chainmail things, the pommels of the weapons, and any little hammer icons with a 50-50 mix of Rhinox Hide and Retributor Armour. After that's done, I lightly dry brushed the entire model with pure lead belcher. I picked out the faceplate with Sky Grey. Once all that was done, I covered the entire model in a wash of Null Oil. On to the weathering stage. There's multiple ways to approach using powders. This is just the method I use. Like all of my techniques, this method emphasizes quick, easy, with no messing about with uh, multiple stages or anything like that. Don't let that stop you from experimenting or trying other methods, however. You might very well find a technique that suits you better. This is just how I like to do things. Anyway, mix a small amount of powder with a few drops of the matte medium. I actually messed up here and used way too much powder, so I needed to use a lot of medium to get the right consistency. You can vary up the ratio depending on how rusty and how dark you want it, but I didn't want to go over the top here, so I ended up using a consistency, as you can see me test on my thumb. This is what you want to aim for. I apply it to the miniature lightly around the details and at the bottom of curved surfaces such as the shield and the helmet. It goes on looking really brown and dark, but because of how watered down I made it, it will actually dry with quite a subtle colour. I ended up doing a second pass on some areas once the first had dried, and you can do this to build up the colour um, until you get the consistency that you want. Finally, to finish off the armour, I went in with a slight highlight of lead belcher, just to make some of the details pop. I also went back to the faceplate and gave it another highlight with uh, pure white. Now it's time to go back to the skin. I used Rhinox Hide to tidy up any mistakes that I made during the armour stage, and then I covered the entire skin in a uh, Druki Violet. This purple wash gives the skin a real warmth. Uh, next, I went to the highlights and highlighted using uh, firstly just pure Rhinox Hide, and then I mixed in more and more Gawthor Brown to highlight bit by bit. Um, I went all the way up to pure Gawthor Brown, 
um, you can leave it slightly darker or perhaps mix in something like a Cadian flesh if you want to make the skin a little bit lighter. That's your choice. The bases are pretty simple. Again, we tidy up the base with Zandri dust and then wash the entire base using Agrax Earthshade. Once that's dry, we do a dry brush layer of Karak Stone and then a final lighter dry brush of Ushabti Bone. Rim the base in black and the miniature is finished. So there you go, the Iron Golem is finished and ready to join his warband in conquering the Eight Peaks. Eight Peaks? That's not right, is it? That's a goblin place. Well, anyway, wherever they decide to fight, they're ready to go and they're looking pretty, pretty rusty, which they like. That's no problem. I hope you enjoyed this video and please, please press the like button and the subscribe button and any other button you like to press and come back soon. There'll be more videos. Thank you very much. See you next time.